Well, recently, uh, while I was uh, searching around on YouTube, watching some stuff, I come across some uh, radio-controlled boat racing. Well, 43 years ago, I built this boat, radio-controlled. It's um, a birch, I believe it's a birch plywood and epoxy. It was a kit made by Dumas back in the late uh, 70s. Um, and I, I had raced it for, I built it, played on the lake with it, and then I found a club where I joined the club and we started racing. And I raced it for uh, two years. Um, the only problem I had was this is set up for a sportsman class, and they got a, two divisions, a one and a two. And I built this for the division two, I believe it is, with the, uh, it's got a point forty with a exhaust on it. And I think the class one, they were allowed to run a 46 motor with um, a tuned pipe on it, and they were quite a bit faster than me, but they let me run in the class. Um, I think the second year that I raced, I actually came in third in the championships overall. But uh, I decided to get it down. I had it. It was up there in the attic in my shop. And it's been sitting up there for 25 years. And then I had it put away for another 20-something years before that, before I moved to North Carolina. When I first moved down here, there was no radio control clubs around. The first thing I did was look to see if I could race it somewhere. And there was no clubs in North Carolina, anywhere close, that I could race it at. So I just put the boat up and, uh, you know, forgot about it. And then uh, seeing this on YouTube, they were racing. I started searching again for clubs. And it turns out there's a new club in uh, Charlotte. They got a new pond, a facility, let, you know, permission to use a pond down there. And uh, they're going to have an open house type thing tomorrow for practicing. Uh, just practice, I guess. And in January, they're going to have a race, an actual race. So I don't know if they're going to run anything that I could run in. But as you can see right here, <laughs> first thing I got to do is I got to get it cleaned. It's been, it's been sitting here for a long time. I tried turning the motor over, it's seized up, so I'll have to take it apart, find out what's wrong with it. Uh, but I'm going to get it cleaned up and bring it down there tomorrow, because uh, I got a lot of questions about the radio, the frequency, I'm sure in uh, 40 years, all of that's changed a lot. So we're going to take it down there and see what I need to, to uh, get it to run again. And uh, hopefully if I can get it going, we'll, uh, I'll try to enter a race down there. We'll uh, video it. Also, I'm going to take camera down tomorrow, and uh, we'll video what's going on down there, and you see some of the other boats, and get an idea of what it's like. Well, let me get this cleaned up. Uh, tomorrow morning, we're leaving early, like seven o'clock, to head down there. So I need to get this cleaned up a little bit. Well, as you can see here, I got a little bit of soap and water. I got it pretty clean. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to just sand it down and repaint it or figure out what to do with it. But I knew I had a toolbox that went with it. <laughs> I wanted to show you this, give you an idea. All of this junk you see right here was on top of my toolbox, which here you can tell how long this has been sitting here. And I got all my tools back from when I was racing. The glow plugs, um, all my nut drivers for fit everything. The electric starter motor I still got. So I got to go through all of this. I got a whole box down here of uh, propellers, a balancing setup where you can balance the propellers. Thought I'd show you that quick. Let me see if I can get that cleaned up a little bit too. Oh, got some propeller charts and stuff in there, too. I'll have to look at that. It's funny. Look at the cartoon right there. It's a steam-powered paddle wheel hydroplane. Hydro, unlimited hydroplane. AD, AD 2000. <laughs> 23 years ago. That shows you how long ago I, I built the boat. It was back in the late uh, 1970, probably 78 or 79. Well... Let me see if I can get this cleaned up a little bit. See what else I what else I got. Well, I made it down here Saturday morning, and they're gonna have a open, kind of like an open house practice. 
uh, before their first race, I think, is a few weeks in January. First time I've been down here. Um, hopefully the sun will go up. I don't know how good you're going to be able to see with the sun sh shining at us. But uh, let me walk down here. We're early. Uh, I walk down and take a look at a couple of the boats. The name of the club is uh, the Carolina RC Water Burners. It's in Charlotte. Uh, you can see the, the track here. I brought my boat down here and you guys are helping me out with a lot of the questions and stuff that's changed over the last 40 years. So uh, I won't be able to get it running today, but hopefully here soon, maybe for the next race, I'll have it running. Up, Two cylinder. Yeah. 57 cc. How many? 57. Wow, that's a big engine. Is it running nitro or gas? Just gas. Just gas. How long is it? 50 something? 58. 58. Wow. That's a nice boat. Look at some of the other ones here. This one here is what they call a rigger. I guess it's called a rigger, right? Or outrigger? Yeah. Rigger. Running gas or nitro? Uh, gas on this one. Gas? Yes, sir. Oh, trust me. I got plenty of nitro, though. We're going we gonna to run together. Okay. <laughs> Horizon Hobbit rates in that, but I can tell you this: it'll run more than fast enough to blow itself off. <laughs> will it be that rig, 29 cc? Will it? Wow! It'll, it'll set. It'll set sail. <laughs> it, it runs on 8s, and uh, which is uh, what is it? Is? Yeah. Uh, no, actually, it's just I'm running in two. Uh, 11,000 milliamp battery, so it makes time because I was going to use it to run offshore. But it'll squeak it. I put it to you like this it easily runs well in the It just in basically stock trim, it runs easily in the 50s. This Probably one here is uh, electric. electric. And, uh, and, and the one over here has got electric motor have any in it. Battery overheat problems or anything? I don't know much about electric. This is like all new to me, all the electric motors. So we're going to learn a little bit today. Offshore. I mean, it's a big pool. And I can run that cool. Six months. Well, that's why we're down here today. 
practicing and testing, getting ready for the race for uh, January. I think that was like his fourth try. I don't know if I'm gonna edit out the other two tries. The other two tries, the boat only went about 50 feet. Something happened, drive shaft or the propeller? Either the drive shaft or the propeller. The motor's running, but it ain't moving. You spun the prop or the drive. What do you think, the prop or the drive shaft? The prop. The prop? Uh oh. <laughs> He was uh, working on his black boat before. He had problems with the motor. He's got two spare motors here. You see his prop collection. Ladies yeah. and gentlemen, we have a driver's meeting in 20 minutes. Oh, maybe they're gonna do some mock racing. We'll see. This year they're getting ready to do a mock uh, hydro race. See if he can catch this electric boat here.
video. It's a video, yeah. Yeah. That was worth it. <laughs> I thought I was going home and started working. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. I like the yeah. yeah, It's up in the back. Yeah. The wire. There you go. I think that was the last uh, last practice race they're gonna have. Oh yeah, Oh no way. Yeah. He's had problems all day with his boats. That one that earlier broke the drive shaft, <laughs> lost the prop, and this one got flooded. He finally got it started. Like I said, next month they're having a race here at, uh, I'm not sure the date, I'll post it on my, uh, when I post the video, what the date it is. I know it's in January. Um, it'll actually be a, a sanctioned race. And like I said uh, earlier too, the name of the club is uh, the Carolina RC Water Burners. Uh, they're on Facebook, you got a group on Facebook, you can look them up on there. Or, or uh, search for them on uh, on the internet i'm sure you'll find it the water's nice and flat now boy <laughs> oh, look at it. It won't. Where's the stupid I don't know what the GoPro, if you can see that far, but the boat's sticking 
nose of it sticking out of the air. The whole back of the boat is underwater. It's standing straight up. As you can see on the lake here, it started raining. They were calling for it, and sure enough, uh, it got here. I'm gonna start loading up. I think to, I'll see what the guys are gonna do. But like I said, uh, anybody living in North Carolina or near here, um, you could look them up online. Uh, Carolina's RC water burner. And uh, there'll be a race, I think. I don't wanna say the date. I know it's gonna be first or second. I think it's second week of January. Well... I uh, hope everybody enjoyed the video, something different. Um, I'm probably going to try to come down here for the January race if I can get my boat running. And uh, maybe we'll see you in the next video.